Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing joint bank accounts, specifically in the context of Thai retirement visa extension. For those who are unaware, banking has an integral part to play in the extension of a Thai retirement visa, most notably because financial requirements associated with banking either lump sum maintained in a Thai bank account or pension funds brought into a Thai bank account, or there's an off chance that the possibility of both being utilized may happen as well, can be, you, you, that's going to be a major issue in extending your Thai retirement visa status, banking. You, you're gonna have to show bank documentations to get the extension. So the question arises is, can I use a joint bank account with, for example, my Thai wife? The short answer to the question is yes, but it creates a great many more complications associated with Thai visa extension. Most notably, the presumption is that the parties own the account 50-50. So if the account is in both people's names, even though, for example, the one foreign party to the marriage, in this case, presuming marriage, but the foreign party that's needing a Thai retirement visa extension, they put in their 800,000 baht to that bank account and they are the only one that put that money in. That said, Thai immigration is still going to presume it's 50-50. So in a joint account, you may need to put even more money in, for example, to utilize the lump sum. Again, also delineating whose money it is in terms of a pension coming into that account can also be more nettlesome. So for this reason, I would say utilizing a joint bank account in the context of Thai retirement visa extension may not be the most optimal method under those circumstances.